For my film analysis, I chose The Soloist. So Steve Lopez, who is seen on the left here, is a journalist from the Los Angeles Times who runs into Nathaniel An Anthony Ayers Jr., who is seen on the right here, one night while he's walking on the street. Nathaniel Anthony Ayers Jr. is the patient in this case who suffers from schizophrenia. The setting is Los Angeles, especially Skid Row, and The Lamp, which is a homeless shelter on Skid Row. And Skid Row is a um, large homeless population in a certain area of Los Angeles. It also shows flashbacks to Nathaniel's upbringing. So the diagnosis is that Nathaniel is a paranoid schizophrenic, which is a type of brain disorder where the person cannot distinguish between what's real and what's a fantasy. The paranoia um, arises from the symptoms he has, especially his hallucinations and his delusions. Many homeless people suffer from this type of illness in this movie, which is why they're homeless or why they're addicted to drugs. And the diagnosis in this case really don't do anything for these people because they know that they have it, but they don't have any way to treat it or to get help. And it's really hard for them to get help. So really they know what they have, but it doesn't do anything. Nathaniel had been previously diagnosed, diagnosed, which is where we see him taking medications in the flashbacks, which didn't really help him. Um, schizophrenia is not the same in every culture because many don't acknowledge that mental illness is a thing, especially schizophrenia in this case, and or they don't have the technology to understand what it is. Two stigmas that revolve around schizophrenia is that they are violent and deviant, which is not always true, and especially in Nathaniel's case, and he was super nice and respectful. The self-stigma is that they believe that there is something really wrong with them and they isolate themselves, which is what we see when Nathaniel is in college. Evidence of Nathaniel's schizophrenia include his delusions, which he believes Steve Lopez was his god because he was helping him and he thought that's what a god did. His sister was trying to poison him when she was giving him food, and he saw a car on fire with, when he was younger. Um, his hallucinations were multiple voices in his head, especially when he was playing at Juilliard. Um, around many people, he thought that he needed to get away from him because the voices were telling him to. He also had very disorganized speech. He did not have any made up words in, words in his speech, but he did have loose associations and he would jump from one thing to the next. He did not experience the absence of pleasure or motivation. He always had music in his life, even when he was homeless and the instrument only had two strings. It was always a huge part of his life and motivation. So treatment for Nathaniel would be complicated in this case, but overall I think schizophrenia should be treated with antipsychotics and therapy, a combination of the two, or maybe just one. Um, Drugs in this case did not help Nathaniel. They, he had been on them before and he freaked out and I think he'd be very adverse to taking them. Maybe a, a new type in the future after he's had some therapy, but overall it did not work for him. I think he should have therapy on his terms, which means I think a therapist should be brought to his apartment or maybe to wherever he is because he was very reluctant to go to new places. Um, overall, the movie showed that not everyone with schizophrenia should be should receive the same treatment and that will work for everyone. His support system in this case, which was Steve Lopez in the beginning and then later his sister, um, really helped him overall. And I think that is a big part of treating schizophrenia. An ethical dilemma in this case would, you, would be telling a schizophrenic the whole truth or keeping things from them in order to help them more, like keeping things that won't make him paranoid from him in order to help him. So a broad perspective of this movie, um, I thought it did an amazing job of portraying schizophrenia and how it's different in different individuals and that they shouldn't all receive the same treatment. Another big part of this movie showed the homeless population who, who many suffered from drug or mental illnesses and needed help for it and how it's a huge problem not only in Los Angeles but in other parts of the country as well. Um, it also showed that some political parties use the homeless population for political gain, saying that they're going to help them when they really don't care. Another huge issue was police arresting homeless and mentally ill people in the movie, which I don't think would help in any way because once they're out of jail, they're still going to be homeless and they're still going to be dealing with all of their issues. Um, I think the movie's main point was not every person with schizophrenia is the same and they shouldn't receive the same type of treatment. and in Nathaniel's case, he did not need the same treatment as everyone else, and he just needed support in his life.